Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 960. I want to introduce you to a fascinating young lady who uh, I've known for the last couple of years through social media and through a couple of different events. And, and you know, she's interesting because she, she uh, ran for some beauty pageants, which I was surprised at. And, uh, and she's always supportive of a whole bunch of different charitable events. And then I found out that she's a serial entrepreneur and a very successful one at that. So I want to introduce you to Natasha Utenier, Natasha Sonia Utenier. Uh, she's a serial entrepreneur. She started two different businesses in the last year. She's successfully combined her love for horses uh, and equestrian, uh, a passion that she has, with her own fashion label, Queen Equestrian, a luxury equestrian clothing line. She has this 18-year equestrian goal to bring beautiful, flattering, and functional fashion to the equestrian masses. Queen Equestrian offers a unique selection of horseback riding wear accessories, specifically riding pants that flatter the body and aid comfort. She's been showing horses across North America, recently adopting an off-racetrack thoroughbred to train for a new career in show jumping. Natasha has also founded Clean Products, launched in response to global shortages of personal protective equipment in the wake of COVID-19. We're going to talk about both this and also her time as a delegate in the Miss Galaxy Canada, the winner of Miss Canada Continental, and a mother to a six-year-old son um, in our show today. Natasha, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much, Brian, for having me on the show. I'm excited to be here. So tell me, how did you get started with Queen Equestrian? It sounds fascinating. So Queen Equestrian comes from my love of horses. I've been riding horses since I was a, a young child, and it's definitely my passion. So, and my other passion is fashion. And I always wanted to have an equestrian clothing line ever since I was a child. So I was in corporate sales for about eight years, and then I decided to um, get into fashion and like I said, fulfill my dream of uh, having my own equestrian clothing line because I saw that there was a lack of flattering clothing in the market uh, current. Currently, it's more just basic clothes. It's not that exciting. So I really wanted to create something that was beautiful, flattering, and could be worn to the stables and also just in your everyday life. Because a what lot you, of the... <laughs> what do you mean uh, flattering? And, uh, and, and why, is it they're not, why is there not flattering um, clothing? Well, there is flattering clothing on the market, but I found that a lot of it was uncomfortable and uh, it wasn't as flattering as it could be. So a lot of the fabrics that I choose are very form fitting to the body. They have a lot of stretch, four way stretch. They're high tech fabrics. They're sweat wicking fabrics. So the you, when you're riding horses, it's a lot of physical activity. So you tend to sweat a lot. So the, these fabrics are quick dry and they're anti-sweat and anti-dirt as well. But um, really the key goal is to create clothes that look amazing while you're horseback riding, as well as just, you can inc incorporate it into your everyday clothing choices, and whether you're you, at the uh, stable or the street. You, you, you obviously have a, have a love for uh, horses and a question, is this something you were involved in for a long period of time? Yeah, I have been riding horses ever since the age of four. So like, I absolutely love them. Even when I was a little kid, I used to beg my parents to take horseback riding lessons. <laughs> and uh, and then when were you sort of motivated to uh, to leave the corporate world and launch uh, Queen Equestrian? Um, I went to Germany with my grandmother. Uh, that's my background. I'm German, and I their horseback riding is much more. Um, it's actually QueenEquestrian.ca. That's one of them. Yeah, QueenEquestrian.ca is the Canadian website. So instead of .com, it's .ca. Have I got the wrong one? It's That's another one, but this is queenequestrian.ca. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of our clothes are designed to fit women of all shapes and sizes and to be very comfortable when you're horseback riding or when you're doing anything physically active, but also to be elegant enough to be worn every day in your normal um, casual wear or even dress it up with heels and stuff like that as you um, as you go to the, to wherever you need to go for that for that day. So we also came up with a new collection of um, kind of like yoga wear. So it's athleisure wear that with matching uh, bras, bra, bra sets and leggings. And then again, they're all high tech fabrics that are made with um, form fitting, high waisted, tummy control waistbands and things like that. So fascinating. And where do you manufacture them? 
So we manufacture them all over. Some of them are made in Italy, some in Canada, some in China. It really depends. And do they look like pants or do they look like equestrian pants? They So some of them are just like regular um they don't have the knee pads, which you require for the horseback riding, but a lot of them do have equestrian pants. Like they're made for equestrian riding, but you can wear them in your everyday wear. That's what we're trying to push is equestrian clothing for everyday wear. What an incredible uh, clothing line. Thank you so much for uh, show- sharing that with us. We're going to take a break and come back more with Natasha in just a minute. Stay with us. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome back to the Brian Crumby Radio Hour on Saga 960. We're speaking tonight with Natasha. Oh, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to mispronounce your last name. Etonye? Uh, Sonia Utenir. Utenir. Natasha Sonia Utenir. I pronounced it like a, a French uh, last name. I apologize. Utenir. Um, Natasha, you've launched a, uh, a fashion line, uh, Queen Equestrian. And it's what? QueenEquestrian.ca is the website? Yes, QueenEquestrian.ca. And the, and the fashions look fantastic. But the, the time that I got introduced to you to, I guess, first was when you were competing in beauty pageants. Yes, that's correct. We Why met were you event. competing in beauty pageants? The reason I chose to compete in beauty pageants is because beauty pageants give you the platform to get it into a lot of different charities and foundations and humanitarian work and help with your community. And it really inspires you to become the best person that you could possibly be because beauty pageants are all about improving yourself and personal growth as well as growth of the society as a whole. What beauty pageants do is they push you to become the best physically and mentally and in your society that you can be and to you bring different charities into the platform and thing like that. So that was really, um, that was really my goal was to become the best version of myself that I could possibly be as well as help society. So what, what got you into the, uh, to the beauty pageants? It was, uh, and, and, and typically people think about beauty pageants as, you know, the Miss America, you had a child already. Yes, that's correct. So I um, have a six-year-old son. So I specifically compete in pageants that accept uh, that people have children or are married um, because that's my case. I have a six-year-old son and I'm proud of that fact because being a mother has uh, taught me to be a better person, a better role model, because I know that my son is watching everything that I do. So I need to be um making the correct choices for myself as well as him to leave a legacy behind for him and to be somebody that he can be proud of. Beauty pageants are, like I said, a platform for you to uh, become a better person for yourself, but also to contribute positively to society and to other people's lives by doing a bunch of charity work. And the other thing I really love about it is the fact that you get to connect with a lot of people from all over the world. I've been to Italy with beauty pageants and models. I've been to many, many different places uh, uh, all over the world. And I've met women who were my sisters in the pageants um, who were also from other countries and to learn about their culture and to be become best friends with these women was just so interesting for me to be able to, you know, get to know their countries and get to know who they are and things like that. It's really shaped my perspective on life in a different way. And uh it, it would appear that you got into modeling as well at the same time. Yes, absolutely. Well, I was into modeling before as well. Like I've um, modeled at Toronto Fashion Week. I've modeled in New York. Um, and actually my clothing line was in New York Fashion Week in uh, 2019. So that was really cool. But yeah, I modeled before. I did a lot of runway when I was much younger. And then um, now I just do uh, quite a bit of modeling for things. So. And what uh, are the different uh, competitions you've been in? I've been, I'm currently Miss World, or I'm a delegate for Miss Canada World Universal, um, which is a really unique pageant because it's a lot more to do with um, entre- entrepreneurial women and um, things like that and helping our foundation, which is the Leah Foundation, and helping other women um, get scholarship money. We raise the funds and get scholarship money for them to get educations, which they wouldn't have had uh, without our help. So that for me is great because I feel like we're actually able to take these women and and just change their lives completely by giving them education. So if a young uh, woman came to you and said they were thinking about competing in a beauty pageant, what would you tell them? 
I would say absolutely go for it because it will build your confidence. It will help your public relations uh, skills. Um, it will help you with personal branding. It will help you build an inner confidence and it will also help your soul because you feel like you're contributing to society. Like I've mentioned so many times, you do so much charity work. You learn about so many different foundations. You actually help people. A lot of people talk about, you know, I'm going to go help people. I'm going to go do this and that, but they don't get around to it. When you're in a beauty pageant, you actually have to go and do those things. It's amazing. I love it. And you also get to connect with women from all over the world. So I think it's amazing. I think it's a great opportunity. I think that if you want to do it, go for it. It will help you in many areas of your life. Now, some of the criticisms would be that, you know, you're strutting down the runway in a, in a bikini. Um, what do you say to people that criticize uh, beauty pageants in that regard? You know what? If you got it, flaunt it. Seriously, people work hard for their bodies and they should not be afraid to show them. If you have a beautiful body and if you're confident in your body, everybody's beautiful in their own way. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And if you're confident enough to do it, then you go do it. I don't care if you're 300 pounds or 100 pounds. It doesn't matter. Just do what you want and be happy and be confident and own it. <laughs> so, you know what? I don't, I would say people who think like that are just, you know, I don't agree. And then you started another company uh, doing uh, personal protective equipment. Tell me about that. Um, I was living in Florida in 2020 with my clothing line. I had a store there and um, was trying to get my product into a lot more stores. So then COVID hit. So um, I had an opportunity to start um, selling um, ma and manufacturing because we had a factory. We manufactured wipes, like sanitizing and disinfecting wipes. So we currently sell in all of the Longos across Canada. You can find our wipes, which is clean products clean wipes and they're also sold on our website cleanproducts.ca but uh majority of every long goes in canada sells them we're in a few other stores as well and a lot of medical and dental clinics use our wipes so the reason i got into that is because we had the factory who manufactured it for us and we created a brand behind it and uh we wanted to help there was covid it was a crisis people couldn't get product and we were there to help with the solution, which is finding um, hospitals, medical clinics, dental clinics, and everyday people at the grocery store a product to help disinfect and sanitize their, their home and their environment. So uh, fashion model, beauty pageant <laughs> contestant, entrepreneur with queensequestrian.ca and uh, queenequestrian.ca, and then uh, personal protective equipment. What's next for Natasha Sonia? You know what? I have so many projects on the go right now. I feel like I get a lot of people come to me and ask me, um, or I don't know, I, I guess I attract that um, entrepreneurial people. And, and I love business. I love seeing a, something grow from an idea or, and then being able to concept, conceptualize it into an actual living, breathing business. I get so much joy out of this. So I don't know, I'm probably going to start a couple more businesses in my lifetime because my ultimate goal is to leave a legacy behind for my son as well as um, for myself and, and help the environment and help the community as much as I can, whatever I can do. What's the legacy you want to leave for your son? Um, I think that I want to have a positive effect on everybody around me and uh, help the community and the world as a whole. I don't know what it is exactly that is going to be uh, my legacy, but I hope that it's a positive one. <laughs> Natasha, if people uh, want to uh, buy some of your clothing, uh, what's the website? It's clean pro uh, sorry, it's queenequestrian.ca. So they can buy it off of that website. Q U E E N equestrian.ca. And, and we people, ship everywhere. And if people want to follow you on uh, social media to to cheer you on uh, in your modeling and your uh, beauty pageant uh, competitions, how do they do that? They can follow me at it's Natasha Sonia. So I T S Natasha S O N J A. And then uh, the clean products, what's the website for the wipes? Cleanproducts.ca. Cleanproducts.ca. Well, you know what? In uh, today's environment, it's wonderful to see someone that has uh, has launched businesses and uh, and wants to create a legacy for their child, and uh, and is not at all in any way, shape, or form um, embarrassed to strut their stuff and uh, show what they've got. So, congratulations, Natasha. It's a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you, Brian. It was such a pleasure chatting with you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. 
Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm on every Saturday, every Monday through Friday at seven o'clock on uh, 960 on your AM dial, or you can stream me online at www.saga960am.ca. My podcasts and video casts are available on briancrombie.com, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, and uh, my video casts are available on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Good night, everybody. Good night.